Look at this freaking tank. Golly. Big old one following. Oh, do I have other up? This is a freaking meatball. How's it going guys? Jake here with Swinging Up Fishing. Today we're out on the river. It is a beautiful night. It's fall here in the Upper Peninsula. The colors are starting to change, but it is about 70 degrees, flat calm. One of these days that we don't get too often here in the Upper Peninsula. So you have to take advantage of it when you're out here. Um, like I said, I'm out on the river on a little flat here. Gonna try and work some smallmouth on a small isolated rock pile. So we're gonna see what we can get into. Stay tuned, hopefully we get a couple. Two smallmouth trees right next to me here. Look at this. They're literally right here. There's a whole wolf pack of them. Oh, I got them. Got their eyes. There's a whole wolf pack of them. fish swimming all over underneath me but they, they should get the drop shot out that's what I'm gonna have to do here's one oh he dropped it oh there he is oh that's it let's see if he comes back oh yeah he's out of oh I broke off what the hell is going on I've been breaking off at the knot literally every time and I've tried four or five different knots so if you guys have any idea on knot selection I'm breaking off every single time right at the knot it's just 12 pound floral so maybe I'm getting a little too rough with it maybe I won't set the hook so damn hard too Oh, there's a bite. I still got it. There we go. Oh, my drag is so loose. Oh, this is not a good one. Stay down. This is so fun. It is so flat, calm, and beautiful. I didn't get the net out, of course. Look at this fish. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys can see this. This is just. These things don't quit either. Let's see this we can get this behind. Come here, big dog. This is a meatball. Oh my god. This is a freaking meatball. Look at the belly. We gotta get a weight on this guy. Three, three, nine. It's a good fish. him go goodbye Sheila all right so what I'm doing is I'm just throwing a tube it's just a standard salt tube with a I think it's, it's actually an eighth ounce I'm going real light because I'm as you can see probably from the drone footage I'm casting that one little bed of isolated rocks and I mean it is this whole thing from there all the way over it's just a big flat of sand a little mix of weeds about five six feet no crazy contour changes nothing like that and then there's another one. Oh my god. But it's literally just one isolated patch of rocks and there's smallmouth cruising all through here. And they're just feeding up in the fall here, getting ready for winter. 
They're just all over this rock pile here. It's the only rocks for probably a half mile in any direction. I thought it was a rock. It's a fish. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. It's another big, pretty one. God, these things bite so good. They dig so hard. Stay out of the trunk, everybody. It's just a cookie cutter of the same. This one's a longer one. There we go. Another pretty one. Not near as fat, but long. He's got these dots on him. Yeah. Okay, that was a 17 and three quarters, and the other one was a 17 and a quarter, and that one I'd venture to guess was three and a quarter. The other one was a 3.4, so. That one was skinnier. All right, let's see if I can get another one. Oh, here we go. There's another one. I mean, we are every single cast. This one's not near as big. Oh, maybe he's big. Big old one following. Oh, do I have another rock? We're gonna have two for here. There's another one following. Come on. Come on. go not as big probably a two pounder but there's a bigger one following him again i mean these school these are just schooled up we're gonna get one almost every cast out here right now there's so many of them let's see if we can go another cast another fish these are aggressive fish right now so the other thing i'm doing and i don't know if you can see it or not but i'm using my pronav angler app which is this thing right here and i'm using it to find where these rock pilots. I found this rock pile on Google Maps, so I'm just using this app to keep me on the spot um, and the, the GPS autopilot so I can stay right on that spot where I found the, these rocks so far. So every time I drift off them, the schools kind of aren't as big. But now we got the wind switching directions, pushing against the current, so we'll see how that affects them. I can get them on moving bait. Just with this little bit of chop. I don't think I can, but it's worth a shot, right? All right, that was worth a shot. God. in a backlash. Jeez. It's a big one too. This is a big old football. This might be a four pounder. Nope, he didn't swallow it, but this might be a four pounder. Holy crap. Relax, dude. Relax, relax, relax. Holy crap. That was fixing a backlash. Look at this freaking tank. Golly. Hopefully this boat doesn't see me. Three, two, one. So it's actually smaller than the other one. Whatever. That's a nice fish. Alright. I really love smallmouth fishing. 
I mean, these things are so feisty. This time of year, they're so fat. I mean, so tall. These ones out here right now are just tall. They're built like freaking bluegill. Like I said, I'm just hopping a little eighth ounce, a little eighth ounce tube over these rocks and uh, letting it kind of fall, drift over these one little patch of isolated rocks. And uh, I like fishing it on a casting setup, just especially with smallmouth because they fight so hard and I like to kind of horse them and set the hook into them get them in so I don't lose them. Tell you what, that wind switched direction and all of a sudden the fishing just died. It was calm flat, now we just got a tiny bit of chop. I mean, it's not even windy. But that is apparently all it took to really reposition these fish. Just turn the bite way off. Either that or we went through the whole school, but I doubt that that's the case because I was seeing a whole bunch of them. I might have just spooked them off the spot or I've been switching through through a jerk bait, through a drop shot, through a Ned rig. Try to get a couple moving baits with a crank bait, a walking bait. Couldn't get a bite on anything. So I'm back to the tube. Kind of expanding a little bit. Getting close to the end of the night here. We might be calling it quits here pretty soon. I'd like to get one more. Only got. All right, that's gonna do it for tonight. Quick little night on the water. It's getting to be late in fall here, where we only get. I mean, it's only. It's 6:45 and the sun's already going down. We got a little bit of a boat ride back, so gonna get off the water. Caught. I think we boated four, um, which is good. Would have liked to boat more the way it started. I mean, I think we got the three in the first couple casts. So, um, but we did get some fish. It was there, some big ones, some big footballs. So, uh, gonna get off the water tonight. Hopefully, we'll come back another time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really, really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Caught some pretty big footballs, and it's football season. I'm gonna go watch some football right now. You guys have a good time out on the water. Catch some fish here while we still can. Thank you guys for watching. Swinging up. Have a good night.